Okay. <laughs> so, I got a couple of a bunch of speed build packs from my local store today. These are pretty fucking cheap here. I got these for literally about a dollar each. I got uh, some ten of them, ten of them here. Uh, so we're gonna open them. It's not a whole box opening. I'm sorry, I am not wealthy enough, but I am better warder. <coughs> but we're gonna be opening some some of these speed build packs and see if we get anything nice. I don't know why I'm recording this, I just felt like doing it because why not? It's a nice thing to do. So let's 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 do this one here first. Um this is kind of cool. It doesn't have anything super relevant to the meta right now. Like what most people are playing is either a dark um, dark mod deck or something of the <coughs> current structures, the match of the millennium structures that came out recently. These are not available at all in this country, so I cannot really play with those. But let's see if we get anything cool for the dark deck mod. So. We have Master Craftmine Gamel. I have not even ever heard about this in my life. And you can tell me if you can see it in the video. Don't say it. It's okay, I guess, for a command. Oh, Spell Power Grass. I didn't know this was on, on the game yet already. Uh, you know what this does? This is like you can place a spell counter on, the, on a car and then add another one of these from your deck to the hand. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty cool. Uh, plus fear, you know, this just basically you set it, it gets destroyed, it, it attaches to the monster, it des it destroy it was it was destroyed with, um, it deals damage equal to it, which is pretty good in a dark mod dominated meta, actually. And last card in this pack, a lot of justice card destroyer. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess this could be okay. I don't think there's a whole lot of light monsters that are being played right now, but this could be good. Um, maybe after the new Battle City box comes out. No, no, no foil cards in that pack. These packs don't really contain any, any kind of guaranteed foils or anything like that, unfortunately. Uh, but that was a good pack. That was I used a full card, and honestly, I, what I like about speed builds that I told my girlfriend. Uh, compared to TCGs, that garbage packer filler in this is not like garbage packer filler in normal TCG sets. This is more like magic or old school Yu Gi Oh! You can just throw any of these on any deck and they will be at least okay as a replacement. Uh, let's see here uh, Blue White Silver Zombie. Normal. This is like just a kind of garbage normal thing. Ah, uh, Blue Fortress. Well, <laughs> I was actually really hoping to pull this out. Uh, you guys probably know that in the TCG Fortress Whale is only it was only ever given away as like a promo card on some special locations. I think some tournament or some OTS or something as a prime as a prize. So this thing is like insanely expensive. So it's pretty cool that they reprinted it finally as a common on a regular pack on Yu-Gi-Oh! And this thing is pretty cheap. It's not anything special. You can play a Fortress Whale deck. It is okay. It was a goodish around the time this set was the last one released, but now it's like more of a rogue. Ish casual strategy than anything, uh, but I'm really happy. I really wanted to pull this, and I think I saw that we have a foil in the background. Security orb. Now we have monster scler. Yeah, when your opponent monster scler's an attack, target one attacking monster, change the position. If this card is straight by your opponent's fault, no. this is okay, I guess. Kind of like a sphere curibo ish kind of thing. No, we would regular trap, not hand trap. Oh, or night beam. Uh, this is actually really cool. First foil in the first foil that we pull. Uh, this just is like a target on spell that having your brain control and the stolen card, and this cannot be responded to. Um, this is a modernish card, I believe. Uh, this is actually really good. You usually play this on your side, like in most decks, because uh, back row is still very important on this format. So this is pretty cool. First foil rider. Uh, let's see. I mean. Pretty good for like what two packs in? Let's go the other packs are just as good as this one. That one was a pretty good pack. Right I am trying to open this without destroying it. So sorry. Yeah, whatever. There you go. Let's see. Uh, pendulum machine. This is not very good. I mean, maybe if there's some kind of good machine support, I don't think there is right now. 
maybe with Bandit Kid or something, I don't really know. Um, break the oh yeah, I already see there's something foil there. Break the round. Uh, what is this? A good one a machine monster. A good monster is straight out of them. One of them is the one card. I mean, I guess this comes as machine support, but I wouldn't use it on this probably because this is like a level five monster, level six monster that is not even 2000 attack. So, no, thank you on that. It has 2000 defense, but you can literally just play some mean on whatever if you want 2000 defense. Uh, Gravity Axe Growl, this card is not that good. Um, I mean, against 500 attack, Monster Control cannot be, cannot change their battle positions. It's okay, I mean, in Speed Duel, in Speed Duel, this is like, I mean, equips that target, that drives attack are okay. Uh, it's not any. I, I guess you could pl throw this into any deck and it will probably work out. It will probably make something like a sh kind of shitty little four monster, a 2000 attack beater or something. So that's okay, I suppose. And Dark Red Enchanter, another ultra rare. If this card is normal, someone plays two spell counters on it. Each time a spell card is activated, plus one, place one spell counter on this card. When that spell resolves, gain 300 attack for each spell counter on it. Once per turn, you can remove the spell counters from this card. This card won't run from your opponent's hand. Um, I don't think anyone is really playing anything with spell counters right now. This card seems okay if you have like a dedicated deck to it. Maybe it's some, this is some, you could do something like the old school, like the old school spell counter decks that used to be a thing in the TCG. Uh, I don't think I would play this though, but that's nice. That's a second foil. That's okay. Hmm. Oh, fuck. This is a little hard to open to the big one. Slot machine, uh, this is something Bandit could play. I think there's a skill that might have some support with this. I am not entirely sure. I am not very well versed on machine decks. I don't know why the camcorder keeps on focusing like this. Um, but uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. um, this is, I mean, this is like a classic anime season one card. So I guess that's that. Um, it's not that good unless there's a skill of a kid skill that does something with this. I'm not sure. Uh, but I like to have it just because it's a nice anime card. Uh, insect armor with laser cannon, another anime card. Um, well, I suppose insects are meta right now, so you could use that just in any insect deck. Uh, and I don't think this was in the structure deck, so maybe. Again, as I say, this game is very different from TCG, like you don't need to combine anything with anything specific. Like obviously there are cards that are better than others, but the thing about the pack filler of these packs is that you can just throw this. I mean, this is more specific for insects, but you can just throw this into any insect deck and it will probably be okay if you don't have anything better to put in it. And it doesn't need anything that specific for it, so it's okay. Uh, Magic Plan Mandragora, what is this? Place one spell counter in each face of card. I, like can... I guess there's enough spell counter cards on this expansion to build a bit of a small spell counter focus deck, maybe? A spell caster with spell counters thingy. I haven't seen anyone do that, but that might be something interesting to try. Spell binding circle. Uh, I've seen this being played a little bit. Not super much, there are better alternatives to stop your opponent. I mean, you don't really want to stop your opponent from attacking that much, as much as you might want to destroy their monster instead. Uh, there are way better alternatives to this. Right now we have a Nightmare Wheel that came out in the latest Structure Decks, in the, millenn in the uh, Battle of the Millennium or something, Structure Decks. The Marik and, Ma and Bakura decks have like Nightmare Wheel, which is this, but also burns for 500 every turn, so it's way better than this. Uh, but again, this is a good okay and a good enough replacement if it's the only thing you have. Now that now that Nightmare Wheel is expensive because it's a structure like car. If you cannot get it in Argentina in your country, like I cannot get it in my country, then this might be a good enough replacement for it. It might definitely come in handy.
that one came out nicely. Uh, insect armor with laser cannon again. Jurak Tyrannus. Uh, you can tribute one dinosaur monster, this guy can fight high attack, it costs one monster weapon in the area. Uh, not too good. It's, uh, level 7 to, to 2500 attack. Um, I don't really know if this is very good card, I don't think so. Uh, release Restraints. Tribute one Jeffrey the Iron Knight, special summon one Jeffrey the Sun Master from your heart of deck. I don't think you would want to do that, but sure. Another spell or grasp. Uh, Fire Reaper, gosh, this is like an old school uh, set, first set card. I think it's, I like this old artwork. These cards are cool. Uh, seven complete. This is another old, old card. Activate this card by using an attack or defense. Equip only the machine monster. It's on the attack or defense, depending on their choice. And I think this is one of the kid cards. Again, I don't know a whole lot about machine monsters. Fans in area won't really play them. Um, Equip that raises attack and or defense. Uh, this is pretty good. If you're playing a machine deck, this will probably be a card that you'll play, I will imagine. Jurassic Taran again and my plan Mandragor again. Uh, Lay of Justice again. Uh, Infernic Dwarf. Well, you have no cards in your hand. If a monster you control attacks a defense position, monster will pierce him at the damage your opponent. Eh, not a big fan of that. Oh, is that another Fortress Well back there? Yes, it is. Blue Eyed Silver Dragon and Fortress Well again. Nice, two Fortress Wells. That is good. That is the card that I wanted the most out of these packs. Uh, Life Justice, Gatekeeper, <laughs> God knows we know a lot of those, huh? <laughs> I have never seen this card in my life, actually. Have you seen this card in your life? It's like a level 5 monster with 500 attack and 800 defense. Uh, I bet a bunch of people have seen that at some point and went, Mom, can you buy me another pack? This one had garbage cards. <laughs> it has uh... nice artwork, at least, I guess. Yeah, I kind of like, like it. I kind of like the artwork, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't again. I don't know what machines do, but I don't think this will be a very good card. I mean, if you I have to think. tribute someone, it, I don't think this will be good. Maybe there's a way to special someone. Oh, that's another foil back there. Oh, I don't like Nico Texu. Uh, this is pretty good. You know what this does? You like uh -huh. flip it. You like set it, flip it, and you add a spell, a, a, an equipped spell to your hand. That mm -hmm. is pretty good. Another foil. Oh Ooh, my god, nice. Book of Life! Holy <laughs> shit, that is very good. Yeah, there is one. Well, you know what this. You, you all know what Book of Life does. Uh, and this is actually double good in speed duels because there's no monster reborn in this format. Um, there's obviously no Call of the Hunted or anything. And there is Call of the Hunted, I think. I think I'm not sure. Or the, I think there's uh, there's Call of the Hunted as a skill, I believe. But this is good because this is like something that you can just like splash into a zombie deck if you need to use another skill that isn't Call of the Hunted. Uh, pretty good ultra rider. Right also, this is like a card that I bet a lot of people in general just would like to own in in a, in ultra rare. As I say, I'm betting that these speed duel cards will reward a lot of money someday. So I, I mean, I, I also buy them because I like to play the game. Uh, so not many people like to do it. And locals are kind of closed right now. I mean, they tried to open them back up, but no events. So it's, it's a little mess. Uh, Magical Plan and Dragora. Eternal Breath. Destroy all monsters equipped with equipped cards. Um, hmm. I suppose this could be good. Uh, it's not as good as it sounds, though. I suppose the problem right now is that the most meta equipped equip right now is like Parasite Paranoid and that is going to be equipped to one of your own monsters and this is a new, if this was like a quick play spell I suppose it could be like a kind of bad way to prevent 
dark mode from summoning. But it is sand, so I don't know what you will really do with this. I suppose if you are playing against someone that is playing like an equip focus, I mean, every deck in speed will can play equips. Every deck in speed will can play equips, so I guess. I mean, it's not terrible again, but it's not as good as it sounds, I guess. Especially because it probably destroys your own monsters too, so you gotta be careful with this one. Ah, Blast Fury 2. Oh, another foil. Crystal's, Crystal's here. Oh my god, this borderline looks like a big deal of a person. <laughs> Uh, a flip effect. Excite the top two cards of your deck, then add one of them to your hand, then place the other one at the bottom of your deck. Uh, not great, not bad. It's like an okay effect, I suppose. Um, it's a spellcaster, so does that mean you can search out of something? And last pack. As I say, I'm sorry we aren't doing like a full box of any. Maybe I'll do that one of those soon, but this is like just some random packs that I got of my locals. Um, I wanted to do like an opening of like some arena you know, of Lost Souls packs that I have on the mail, but the mail doesn't seem to be working right now, so I don't know when the are gonna come here. Ay, this country. Uh, fighting Spirit. The equipped monster against the hundred attack for each monster you put in controls. You will destroy your battle, you can still defend it. It's okay. Another release restraint. The beginning of the end. Well, uh, uh, for I mean, you can't read it right. It has seven more, more damage in career, punish five damage from your area, and that regards. Um, well, y this card has an interesting story on the TCG, I suppose. Not not super meta relevant, I don't think, but it is a card that you can play, and it is kind of hard to set up, especially in speed. I will say. Don't think uh, I don't think anyone is gonna really be running this one. An Empress Mantris to end things. Um, probably the, one of the best tributes on Monster Sweep Pool. It only requires one tribute and it has two, uh, 2200 attack. That is decent. And it's just another, like, just classic Yu Gi Oh card. That I'm glad I own in with the little thingy that says Speed Duel at the bottom. I can you see it maybe? Mm. Uh, you can kind of see it right there. Yeah. Very, very faint. Okay, is that all the packs? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Yeah, that's all the packs. And yeah, that is a, that is a pretty, that is a pretty, a, a really pretty low void. In something that makes these like speed build cars, even if they're commons, it makes them feel like if they're some kind of weird foil, just because they have like a little. Watermark Lurk. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it, I suppose. We pulled some nice, nice cards. Uh, these speed build packs are really good, honestly. Like, I know that the format is just not. Oh, we didn't pull any skilled cards. Huh. I suppose those are a little harder to pull. But I think you. I'm pretty sure you can pull them. Uh, but yeah. These speed build packs are actually really nice. If you ever. If you like to play the game. There is a little bit more, you know, gold format ish. I would really. I think opening packs is way more worth it than it is on the regular TCG. Um, the, those boxes come loaded with good stuff. Uh, the structure decks are really good. And as I said, like even the things that are not ideal are something that you can just throw in your deck if you are like really needing like something to, re to a, a really quick patch. Most of the cards that you pull are playable in some form, like the TCG, in which if you pull something from an archetype that you're not building, it's basically unplayable. I don't want to sound like a boomer. I like the TCG. I play it too, but I, I really like the packs on, on speed build format way more. Uh, I don't think it's really that worth it to open packs on the TCG, even on speed duel. I really enjoy it because you always get playable stuff no matter what you do. And Jesus Christ, I've been doing this for 20 minutes. I suppose I'll stop now. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.